Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. In the previous lecture, we have seen the basic of how the formal languages will be and what is Automata Theory, we have seen. Now, we have to see this one and we will first go for the machine, what is this finite automata. After that, we will see one by one. So, first I am going to the finite automata. So, we will see what is this finite automata, what is this abstract device, how it will work. What is the tuple notation? Everything we'll see here. So finite automata. In order to understand this concept easily, I've taken this example. Let us take this one. This is a one operation like for a battery. When the switch is on, the bulb will be in on mode. Like what is the input here? Switch. Output is in light bulb. And actions are F for flip switch. That means you are closing like this one flip. Then light will be in on mode. If you open, light will be in off mode. That is states are one is on mode and other one is off mode. So you need to observe what are the things happens here. Like I can represent. So in the starting mode, in one state, off state, initially it will be on off state. Now, when I give one flip, that means when I close the circuit like this, the bulb will be in on mode. Now what is from on mode if I give next to flip what happens that means next flip means next opening it like then bulb will be in off mode. Now when you again flip it on mode and then again flip it off mode like this it happens. Like this I can represent this circuit. Now bulb is on if and only if there was an odd number of flips that means if I give one flip the bulb will be in off on mode if i give two flips off mode three flips on mode four flips off mode five on mode like this it happens now how this is related to finite automata in finite automata is also you have a set of states for a respective input it will may it may be changed to another state or for a same state and also you'll have one starting state and you have final state here so Anyway, I'll discuss all those things. But for a particular circuit, you can observe here, one state will be there. For a state, if you give some input, it is going to one another state. And for from that state, if I give another input, it is going like this, it happens. This is basically the thing happens in finite automata. Now we'll see the formal definition and uh, tuple notation here. A finite automata is a phi tuple notation which consisting q sigma do q naught and f. So what are all those q's a set finite set of states and input a sigma is input alphabet where do is a mapping function q naught is the initial state and f is a maybe one final state or set of final state. Of course we will see all those things with our example whatever the example I have taken right now. So here for the same thing so initially it is in a starting I'll represent like this starting now it is a one state states are on and off now I'll take this as a Q naught state now for Q naught I'm giving inputs one flip let us consider this flip as one then it will be on mode then if I give flip as zero it will goes for off mode like this it happens so that's what I'll write here Q1 is another state which is half state. So if I give flip as 1, it will be to going to Q1. If I give flip as 0, it will be coming to Q0. Next if I give 1, Q1, next 0. Like this it happens. Now what is a final state? That means whether bulb should be in on mode or off mode. Let us suppose it should be on mode is our final state. Finally we require on mode. That means Q0 is on mode or Q1, Q1 is the on mode, that's why this is our final state. Final state is always represented by double circles. So you can observe here. So in the accepting states will be denoted by double loops. Now you can observe what happens here. What is Q? What is Q here? Say finite set of states. What are the states in, of course, this is a one finite automata. What is a Q? Q means? It's a set of state. What are the states that we have in, in this diagram? Q0 and Q1. Now, 
next thing it is asking for sigma input alphabet what are the inputs i am giving here i have given flips flips are represented with 1 comma 0 so your sigma will be of course 0 comma 1 set of input symbols now of course i'll explain do at the last what is q not q not is the initial state here which is from setup so what is the initial state here where it is starting from this state what is that state name i have given q not itself so q not is q not itself anyway this initial state is from set of states now f is subset of which is a f accepting states or final state now what is accepting states here i told that when the bulb is in on mode that is accepting that means q1 is accepting that's why final state is f is equals to q1 remember one thing you can have one initial state but you may have more than one final states you may have any number of final states like this so f is final states so now we have taken q sigma q naught f so what is this do is a transition function what is this transition function is do i am representing here that is do which takes now you can see what are the transitions happens here so q naught if i take q naught to 1 where it is going q1 so this can be represented like this in q naught if i give the input as 1 it is going to q1 now is there any other transition yes from q1 if i give 0 it is going to q naught so do of q1 if you give 0 here it is going to q naught is there any other transition no only two transitions here so like this do will be there like this these five tuples are represented basically this is a very very basic example how a finite automata will be represented remember this point finite automata which is a five tuple notation where it consisting all these five properties that is q sigma do q naught and f and final states always represented with double circles or double loops we'll take some other example let us suppose this is a one finite automata and here the question is uh, find all five tuples what are the five tuples here so i'm writing here so first of all q what is q q is nothing but set of states in your finite automata that means what are the states you have q naught q1 q2 so i'm writing here q naught q1 q2 now the next one is sigma so what is sigma sigma is set of input alphabets what are the inputs here you are taking so q naught to see here q naught to zero it is going to q naught itself anyway what is the input zero here one here one here zero like this what are the inputs you have only zero comma one only two inputs are there now of course q naught i'll write first q naught is equals to what is the initial state here q naught itself and what about final state f c what are the final state final states are always represented by two circles like this is a one final state this is a another final state so two final states that is q1 and q2 are two final states now what about this one do do is a transition function starting from q0 if i give q0 to 0 where it is going q0 itself you call it a self loop q0 to 0 it is going to q0 itself next q0 to 1 so if i give q0 to 1 it is going to q1 next q1 to 1 let us take q1 to 0 first it is going to q2 q1 to 1 it is going to q1 itself you can see here q1 to 1 if i give self loop next q2 q2 to 0 it is going to q2 q2 to 1 it is going to q2 itself because self loop for 0 comma 1 that means q2 to 0 q2 itself q2 to 1 q2 itself like this it is going so like this you can write q sigma q naught and do as well as final states for a particular finite automata and this is you call it as transition diagram and you can represent in two ways one is transition diagram 
another one is transition table you can see types of finite automata representation one is transition diagram this is you called as transition diagram and the another one is transition table transition table will be constructed like this so here you need to write states what are the states we have q0 q1 and q2 now here you need to write what are the inputs you have so two inputs that is zero another one is one now check it here in the transition diagram what happens when you q naught to zero where it is going q naught so q naught to zero q naught what is q naught to one so q naught to one if you give it is going to q one now q one to zero q one to zero where it is going q two q1 to 1 where it is going q1 to 1 it's self loop that is q1 next q2 to 0 so q2 to 0 self loop that is q2 only q2 to 1 again self loop that is q2 only now after this what is the initial state here starting state q0 so here you represent like this and what is the final state here you have two final states now so q1 q2 here don't represent with circle you represent with star like this so q1 is a final state that's why star q2 is also final state that's why star now if you don't have any state you simply put pi like let us suppose if you, if i don't have q0 to 0 this state is not there so what is q0 to 0 you need to write pi or q pi like this sometimes you may have more than one q0 to 0 if i give it will go q0 as well as q1 so all those things you need to write here so this is you call it as transition table you can represent the finite automata in two two ways that is one is transition diagram like this transition table like this if i give this transition table you can construct this one not a problem anyway we will see that one also in the next so this is the example how basically we can construct and we can write tuples and you can practice for this for this finite automata for this transition diagram anyway you can take here as c so here states are abc inputs are 0 comma 1 for this states are q0 q1 q2 remember here the initial state is q1 i remember this point and here initial state q0 and here also 0 comma 1 so you practice and try to write all those five tuples for this three types of transition diagrams and also practice transition tables so we'll see the next topics in the next video lecture thank you